So if you could um, turn your body towards the light a little bit. Yeah, and then bring your shoulders forward a bit. Yeah, and then tilt your chin up a little bit. Yeah, and then face the door, I guess. Yeah, eyes like in the lens if you can. Okay, one, two, three. Cool. Um, and I'll do that again, but chin down just a little bit. I'm Olivia Johnston, and my project Saints and Madonnas uh, explores the impact that Christian imagery has had on us as a society and how there's potential divinity within us all. Three. So I was born in Ottawa. Um, I have lived here my whole life. Growing up, I was exposed to the arts a great deal because I was a cello player from a very young age, from age five. I would be performing or attending concerts in churches like easily once a month. My family was really non-religious, so we didn't go to church in a religious context. I think that that really sort of formulated my interest in religion. I had a very sort of highly cultural upbringing with a lot of music, a lot of art, um, and then I attended an arts high school and then started working on a photographic arts career and also was attending Carleton University for art history. So kind of this big blend of things has kind of led to my interest in, um, I think, religious depictions. So I chose the people that I chose for the Saints Project, um, oftentimes based on something as small as a name, maybe even a tattoo, um, something that really like connected their identity with sort of a narrative, a larger story that exists in the world. And frown your eyebrows a little bit. Yeah, not a huge amount, but yeah, that's good. Matthew is one of the saints, um, and Matthew is a good friend of mine, um, and he is quite interesting looking, but also somebody that I think you wouldn't necessarily notice as being interesting looking if you just saw him on the street. Um, so I think that's part of it, is uh, for his friends, family, even people who just know him casually, for if they were to see his portrait um, and be like, wow, this sets this person in a whole new light. I think that's sort of maybe overall the aim of my project is for people to see one another in a new light. Weird. The Madonna uh, is a name that is used to refer to the Virgin Mary. She was obviously the mother of Jesus Christ and in a way is kind of the biggest celebrity of all time, apart from her son, maybe. What I wanted to do with this project was really kind of um, think about representations of women and also sort of splitting her identity or spreading her identity amongst a number of people. The sort of idea that she's like one of us um, and we are all her. Uh, so to kind of access the magic, for lack of a better word, that is sort of present in her identity um, and to think about any average person or every, any average woman or femme person as potentially being as graceful, as holy as she is. One of the people that I photographed for this project um, is my mom. Uh, I was really interested in exploring this idea of sorrow or depression that could exist in a Mary. We both have depression, and in a way, her, my portrait of her is also a self-portrait. There's kind of a um, duality happening there. There's this uh, tradition of depiction of the Madonna um, as the Mater Dolorosa, which is sort of the mother of sorrows. Um, and this is sort of a depiction of her either knowing that her son is gonna die or after he's died. It's a very human thing, I think. And I think mental illness is a very human thing. Um, and that to accept that fact and to even consider this idea that uh, the Virgin Mary or Jesus were real people who had real, problems, warts and all, you know? Um, I think that that makes us all more holy in a way. Rather than making them normal, it makes us holy. I think what I want people to feel when they see my work is um, the sort of the same that I feel when I look at my work, which is remarkably human, 
but also a sense of magic and a sense of holiness. And I want people to come away with new ideas about who they are, what they might be, and what the people around them could be inside, and what they're kind of maybe missing in everyday life.